Chief Minister Biren launches six-month free remedial coaching scheme for destitute students under Chief Minister Lairi Gengminashi program. Deputy Chief Minister Yumnam Joy Kumar calls on the need to start protecting endangered fishes of Manipur. Managing Director of MSPCL says entire Manipur will have electricity by December this year ahead of central government's set aim for 2019. And Kairao Kendra Meeta Mean Integrity Football Tournament kicks off. Minister Sham Kumar asserts sports and arts and culture play an important role in bringing a united Manipur. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News and I'm Premi Tangtum bringing you the top stories. Chief Minister Nongthong Bambirin has launched a six-month free remedial coaching scheme under Chief Minister Lairi Ging Minashi program for destitute students at CM's Secretariat today. Speaking at the launching event, the Chief Minister expressed that students are future pillars of the society and the teachers plays a major role in moulding the students. He said the one-year-old BJP-led government has taken various projects worth over 1,000 crore rupees successfully. The scheme is implemented by Manipur Minorities and OBC Economic Development Society, MOB, DS under the Department of Welfare of Minorities, OBCs and Scheduled Cars, MOBC and SC. Biren said the remedial coaching scheme as initiated by students belonging to less privileged sections of the society. He asserted that the scheme will help in bringing up downtrodden students as at par with their privileged peers. The Chief Minister said 83 teachers from government schools and 71 teachers from private schools were selected for the scheme. Biran said monthly allowances for government teachers will be 5,000 rupees for class 6 to 10 and 6,000 rupees for class 11 and 12. On the other hand, private sector teachers for class 6 to 12 will be given a monthly remuneration of 8,000 rupees per month and 10,000 rupees for per month for classes 11 and 12 private school teachers under the scheme. The chief minister also issued appointment and posting orders to the teachers on the occasion. Coaching in science, mathematics and English subjects will be provided to students from class 6 to 10 high school students and class 12 and 11 secondary students. Principal Secretary of MOBC, P.K. Singh, Director of MOBC, K.H. Dinesh Chandra and officials of the departments concerned and teachers attended the launching event. Quality and the dedication. Minorities and other backward classes ki makhada cover to ba. Coaching tuition provide to ba ngam jada ba. Madhu kuma saathra saathri shinko da da khoi gome na free the coaching pee na na ba. Thaataru ki wainap khoi eskimam ka lokar pa ni. Lawar gina coaching center taraga taru. Deputy Chief Minister Yumnam Joy Kumar has called on the need to start protecting endangered fish species of the state. Speaking at the inaugural function of the 5th State Level Aquarium Exhibition Camp Flower Show at Manipur Science Aquarium on DM College campus today, the Deputy Chief Minister, who is also in charge of science and technology, loaded the initiative taken by Manipur Science and Technology Council, MASTEG, to showcase rearing of indigenous as well as exotic species of fishes as a good step towards popularization of conserving rear and nearing extinction indigenous species in the state. Joy Kumar also stated that some fish species of Manipur have already extinct and stressed the need to conduct extensive breeding to save the endangered fishes. The Deputy Chief Minister also called on the need for people of the state to identify habitats of these fishes and preserve them. The event organized by Manipur Science and Technology Council, MASTEG, will continue till March 24th. Staff of MASTEC, including its director and secretary, florist and fish farmers of the state took part in the event. 84 different varieties of fishes, flowers and fruits available in the state and from outside the state were showcased during the exhibition.
for those who love fish to see that at least the indigenous fishes which are facing extinction we try to see that these are these survive and we try to give a place for them in the future also because of the development because of the things the habitat have been destroyed and uh, they are no longer to have the same type of habitat they in which they can flourish we have to study and we have to see that if not the entire habitat in which they used to live but at least let's try to create something for those Managing Director of Manipur State Power Company Limited MSPCL and Sarad has reiterated that the state government is working to electrify the whole state by December 2018, much earlier than the central government's aim to provide electricity to every household of the country within 2019. Sarad also asserted that the department is working to become the best transmitting network in the country. The managing director was speaking at the media interaction program with the officials of government departments organized by Directorate of Information and Public Relations since February 24th at the IPR complex in Moirangkom today. Sarit maintained that it will not be difficult to fill the laking infrastructure of electric transmission as the work is taking place at a fast pace. He also said there will be no difficulties in providing good quality electricity to the people of the state for the next 15 to 20 years as soon as the works undertaken by the department are completed. The managing director stated that the company has commissioned four 132 by 33 kV substations and 933 by 11 kV substations, while 132 by 33 kV substation each in Mori and Tanlod will be completed and commissioned soon. He also said that the fifth standing committee meeting on power system planning in NER resolved for extension of 400 kV DC line from Imphal to New Kohima and from New Kohima to Misa, passing through New Mariana. Sarat stated that Kohima Maraini Transmission Limited has begun the extension work setting and aim to complete it by June 30, 2020. Hanadi sustainable power ni koi na mai bu khitan ngala de koi na khallam badu ni ngasi di koi na base quality adu ki mande ni adu koi pi bunga amna bo honari housing ti ayam ba infrastructure growth ti fazna lai grabli na marak ta khara khara koi mansion badu di issue hoy tar hazari ba achu ba thau mai amlo isle hari ba koi hande thirty two kb bore koi hoji already ni thalon mass manu koi loi re ti pa musu target tau ni adu ede almost thirty three hande thirty two se loi re packet pas he. Adegi pagi ki ani khatu so koi na kan monitor tauri aman gampas on the aman tameng long da. Adu so koi ki koi na kan adem moin another thirty three kb thirteen number amu so honari sehisi lor pada so loisal la ani. Adu na mai tau dana koi consumer singi apabah best power pin batar ke tauri hai tarai. The state now has a transformer workshop under the supervision of Manipur State Power Distribution Company Limited at Kaishampad. Managing Director of MSPTCL, L. Priyo Kumar, stated that the power company of the state has repaired 177 transformers since March 17th last year. He was speaking during media interaction organized by DIPR in continuance of its series of press meet at DIPR complex in Moirangkom, highlighting the works undertaken by state's department today. Mani Priyo Kumar stated that the company do not charge for repairs of transformers and further informed to intimate the department officials if the workshop charges money for the services. Speaking on the issue of electricity theft, he said establishment of a dedicated anti-theft unit laid by a sub-inspector or inspector to monitor for electricity theft and to conduct routine checks in the state is in the pipeline. Priyo Kumar stated that there are 1,568 cases in connection with electricity theft till date, out of which FIR has been lodged for 164 cases and 1,404 individuals we are charged penalty and two individuals thrown in the jail. The managing director stated that MSPDCL has recovered 181 crore, 11 lakh rupees as revenue for the year 2015-16 and the bill collections was further increased to a total of 200 crore, 74 lakh rupees by December 2017. Enforcement, 
the government, I could not say the Vaziri Committee, and we at the work for more than the Vaziri Committee, the Kundi Kuritoga, Kundi Tuanpa, Yamna Chow wanted to dedicate Hydra, Sai Uba, and the Nakalana Spirit of Uba, and Litova, Nimanga, Tari Panas, now of Police of Tabaka, Kundi Kurkai, but Muki, different places, my grandmother, the Prefector of Yanzi. Kasturba Gandhi Institute for Development, Manipur organized a two-day ongoing workshop on the theme Role of Youths in Peace Building at Lamian Bashanglan Palace Compound today. Taking part in the workshop, CAF and PD Minister Karam Shyam pointed out the need for knowing our duties as citizens and an effective platform for streamlining the mindset of the politicians, administrators, youths, voluntary organizations and the public in a common direction with trust to avoid chaos and conflicts in our society. Society. He called the attention of the youth to try to create a unique identity for themselves in the society by developing good behavior and habits. He also called on students to pursue quality education, read good books and listen to words of wisdom given by the elders. Asserting that youths are the future of the state, Karam Shyam called on the younger generations to follow the path towards becoming a successful person to bring development into society and the state as a whole. The minister further called on for sincerity from each citizen of the state for moving ahead in development. Emily of Kumbi constituency, Sana Sambiro, also took part in the event. The PUD Chief Minister Yumnam Joy Kumar inaugurated Rashtriya Vigyan Sanchar Samelan. The 11 science commu communicators meet as a part of the ongoing 105th Indian Science Congress on Manipur University campus today. Joy Kumar expressed a desire for the researchers to make the results of their research works known to the public. The two-day science communicators meet kicked off at Manipur University Court Hall, organized under the aegis of the Department of Science and Technology, New Delhi. Addressing the meet, Deputy Chief Minister Yumnam Joy Kumar said, science and technology is advancing day by day. However, it will be futile if the results of research works are not materialized. He also appealed to the scientists to undertake works which will be beneficial to the people and society as a whole. Speaking on the occasion, Vice Chancellor of Manipur University, Professor Adhya Prasad Pandey said the science communicator meet is being organized under the theme, Reaching the Unrich Through Science and Technology. He stated that if new ideas of science and technology can be used as a tool to bring changes in socio-economic condition of the society, it can benefit the society from grass root level. I think from the very plain reading, reaching the unrich, unrich will have to be not like you and us, people who are underprivileged, who are not. So basically, when we think of reaching the unrich through science and technology, ladies and gentlemen, I think I won't be very wrong if, we, if I'm to assume that what we are going to reach to them are not the very high knowledge of science or technology, but I think something which can be helpful and useful to their life. The four culprits accused for the death of Moirangtem Megha in the Yairipoglai Harab incident was produced before the court and further put into police remand today. The four alleged culprits Pukri Hongbam Raju, Konjengbam Nilakanta, Maibam Jibun and Laishram Munal were produced before the Judicial Magistrate First Class Imphal East in connection with the mob lynching incident which killed Megha.
Respective councils of the culprits submitted applications for bailing the culprits out after they were produced in the court today. However, additional public prosecutors stated that the suspects were involved firsthand in the incident and since investigations in the case are still at its early stage with no witness confessions collected so far prayed before the judge not to release the culprits on bail. After listening to both sides, the judge announced them to be produced before the court on April 2nd and they were pronounced to judicial custody until then. Higher and Technical Education Department, Government of Manipur in a press release stated that tenure, transfer and posting policy of college teachers under the department has been implemented with immediate effect. The press release also mentioned that a committee including Education Minister will also be constituted for the purpose of transfer and posting of teaching faculty under the Department of Higher Education. It's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on the inauguration of Sangai Pro Public Health Subcenter after 32 years of by Health Minister Jayanta Kumar today. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back after the break and you're watching Primetime English News. Health Minister El Jayanta Kumar has inaugurated Sangai Pro Public Health Subcenter after 32 years today. The minister assured that steps will be taken soon to upgrade the health center into urban primary health center. Speaking at the inaugural event held at Sangai Pro Kabui Village in Patsoi constituency, the minister reiterated that Chief Minister and Biren late state government gives top priority to health and education sector. He said that the health department is also working towards providing healthy lifestyle and physical well-being to the people. Jendra Kumar said the health Health Subcenter was inaugurated to provide medical facilities to people in and around Sangai Pro. He said that steps will be initiated to upgrade the center into an urban primary health center as per the wishes of the elders and people of Sangai Pro. On the other hand, the minister also appealed to the doctors posted at the center to provide selfless service to the people. Taking part in the event, General Secretary of NPP, CH Bijoy, termed it unfortunate that MLAs and ministers in the past had never initiated steps to look at the public health subcenter, which existed for a long time at Sangai Pro Market at a proper site in the constituency. He lauded the health minister and the health department for inaugurating the, pub, the building of the public health subcenter today. Bijoy stated that the centre would provide health facilities to people, especially elders and children of five Around surrounding localities, including Sangai Pro, Village Chief of Sangai Pro Kawe Village, Manglim Kame, Additional Director of Health Department, Dr. Manikanta, and people of the area attended the event. <laughs> Leaders in the Kuatha Village Authority in a press release informed that after commencement of academic sessions at the newly inaugurated Kuatha High School, teachers have not returned to the school after the prolonged Yaosheng holidays. Kuatha Village Authority drew the attention of the authority concerned to look into the matter at the earliest. A team led by Director Tourism Department inspected three incomplete tourist ports in Nambol constituency. The team inspected construction of two cafeteria and two rainwater harvesting plants that begin in 2014 with a total estimated cost of 77.455 crore rupees at Kori Papa, Chingpu Macha and Chingpu Achoba. Tourism Director W. E. Bohol told media persons that the construction of the building and its fencing are proportionate to the release fund. He further intimated the accompanying MTS officials to submit a detailed progress report within a week. On the other hand, Pradhan of Ishok Gram Panchayat and BJP Nambol Mandal worker W. Deban, who also took part in the inspection, was discontented at the incomplete installation of windows, pens, doors and flooring of the economically viable 
project of the area. He urged for completion of the potential project and handed over to the public at the earliest. Officials of the Tourism Department and MDS representatives of BJP Nambal Mandal, councillors of the area Pradhan and members of the Gram Panchayat took part in inspection. 2014 dagi saaba hauba tourism gi isok singphu amadi singphu masada saaba tourism je hujik 2018 joro phauba da hujik saaba loisan da dana laire praja gi iho lakpada gi ekhoi gi panchayat ki site ta gi ekhoi gi bjp mandan gi ekhoi apunba kangbu jina matam kya gi mamang da gi ekhoi demand ta uduna lakse bani ado hujik phauba 2018 joro si phauba da saaba loisan de laire ba structure sida Equi Sakana Taloki Paisaga, Hosik Sariba, Tauriba Tabuksiga, Masi Yamna Sana de Aduna, Sakana, Tubumatam, the young Sin Biu, Koyi Dimakato, we have a Kung Sangsing in Haina, young from Tamze. Siege Hospitals has performed the first hip replacement surgery by a private hospital in the state successfully on March 12th. The landmark surgery was performed by a team of doctors led by Dr. Iboyama on a 33 years old woman suffering from. Pertes disease, left hip joint with severe osteoarthritis. She also had shortening of the left lower limb, which all was corrected following the surgery. Press release from CJ Hospital said the hospital is now equipped with full fledged facilities for joint replacement surgeries and patients with joint problems need no longer go outside the state for treatment. The hospital has earlier successfully performed two knee replacement surgeries for the first time in any private hospital in the state by its own in-house orthopedic surgeons last September. Spastic Society Manipur in collaboration with National Institute for Locomotor Disabilities Devyanjand has launched three days ongoing workshop on comprehensive rehabilitation and community-based approach at Manipur Press Club today. Speaking on the sidelines, Secretary of Spastic Society Manipur, Laishram Tokendra Riki said, the workshop aims to enhance capacity building and provides awareness to NGOs and organizations working for people with disabilities on human rights so that they can rehabilitate them in the community. He also mentioned that a community-based rehabilitation was launched on January 13th at the Composite Center in Langtabal Kunja, a center opened by Spastic Society Manipur in collaboration with National Institute of Locomotor Disabilities, Kolkata, a state youth body of Department of Empowerment of Persons with Disabilities under the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment Government of India. I see DSK supervisors at the community level the work to work to stakeholders to work to capacity building to work to work to work to work plan to work to services to work to work to disabled persons in the community to work 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 Community, institution, disabled, work to the center, hands on exposure practice. Rural Health Organization RHO at Naram Tonglai Shram Lairak Uripok in press release informed that the organization has been selected for the 21st All India Mahavir Awards in the Community and Social Service category. RHO provides social services in the remote hilly areas of Manipur. Friends of Women's World Banking and Chanura Microfin Manipur organized the Manipur State Hub or Inauguration Program on School of Entrepreneurship Skill Development for Women at Classic Grande in Chingmai Rong today. Speaking at, as the Chief Guest, Speech Principal Secretary Rural Development and Panchayati Raj IASMH Khan called for people to cooperate with government to get the maximum benefits of various governmental schemes. He also said development will not be achieved if there is disparity between hills and valley. He further urged to upgrade technology to reduce cost materials so that women entrepreneurs and handlooms can bloom. Image Khan opined that women are very skillful and proper guidance and motivation are the needs of the hour. Women entrepreneur attended the event. Seeing the development Karino Hebadi, Ching the Perman who produced Lady, a point of Ching the Kihom Thai, Aduba Ching the Kariba cut flower Thai, Adu Kamain Pugani, a point infrastructure, Fatana Lady, Puya, Mapanda Tavayaro, 
so that we have to see that the development of hill and valley is together. Seeing the development of Korai Assembly constituency, El Susindro has handed over 3 lakh rupees to people of the constituency from MLA's local area development fund to repair to within bridges and a suspension bridge in the constituency. The MLA handed over 50,000 rupees to repair a wooden bridge above Komba River at Kabai Soi Karong today. It may be mentioned that the MLA Susindro had earlier handed over 50,000 rupees to repair Kongpa Lai hidden wood, wooden bridge and 2 lakh rupees to repair the Paknung suspension bridge constructed above Iril River. Speaking to media persons, MLA El Susindro said even though conversion of four wooden bridges and three suspension bridges in the constituency into RCC are in the developmental program, he handed over the fund to repair the bridges for the time being as the government has budget constraints after undertaking various developmental works in connection with its one-year rule in the state. He acknowledged the need for good bridges and appealed to the authority of Public Works Department to give top priority to construct of bridges when they initiate developmental work. Department na priority basis se ma pumatam da thong gumbo se masidi yam na maru lai ba adagi akoi ge thong gumbo se na akoi ne yam na kano hai tar eh darka lai ba pora mo oibuni na priority basis ta ha pumatam da infal manung su oire ko yam nak pa infal dagi se kura ese infal es manung da yam na abam area yam ne hai jari aduna. Masigi nak kerja area sida si lay film sida si lay bani na, madu, hey, ate ate rapa sing hana tau biraga su, yamno fay tau bodo bu, anak pada lay di bawah perjalanan sing siju masih tengai pada bani, aduna priority basis ta engineer sing na adu dipamai na priority ta hapa matam da, masih su priority, oi bham thok tau berah hai bese, masih ay hai jen ninge aduna priority oi ninge na, masih. Another sports news. Forest and Environment Minister T. H. Shyam Kumar has asserted that sport and arts, culture play an important role in bringing a united Manipur with no differences among different communities living in the state. The minister was speaking on the opening event of the football tournament of people of the hills and valley in Kaira constituency at Arapti Makale Kai Kangjebung, organized by Urup Arapti Development Coordinating Committee today. He said earlier parents did not allow their children to play sports for fear of getting injured. However, it has changed now. The minister said parents now encourage their children to play sports as it is not only has health benefits but also brings laurels to the state. <laughs> Imai pasang sahaja munda, ya orang bon kau orang nak orang tu tiada kelihatan dah tinggal mengapa ni tu bu? Nasib ini sahaja munda lah, imai amzi, imai si itu mengapa pergi kelih? Saya tak boleh. Lambat masih ke? Imai sih na, amal di sini sih na. Semua dah kita lakukan kan dah. Lambat masih mang mang dah cakap dah mang. Nasib ni apa cakap? Speaking on the occasion, MLA Kairau, Lauren Bamrameshur said the football tournament was organized to bring a harmonious relationship among the communities in Kairau constituency. He stated that he will work towards producing good players from the state and help improving the status of the state in the field of sports. A football exhibition match was also played by a team led by MLA El Rameshwar and Urub Arapti Development Coordinating Committee on the opening day today. With two goals each scored by MLA Rameshwar and Sekmai MLA H. Dingo, the team dropped Urub Arapti Development Coordinating Committee 7-1. AYLC B. Arapti and WPHYC Punal Maring played the first match of the Kairau game Ching Mita main degree football tournament attended by 20 teams. AYLC B Arapti beat WPHYC Punal Maring 3 1 in the match. Ching Mita me, Hariba Tuna Menasi, and also among the Legi Drava Yamba, MFML, and Karam Thomas in Hudu Piramana. The Mabuni Sing Boyna, Man Pamjam Tabuk, the Tarak Boyna Sumba, the Namas, Hudukabane Duga, Sukit Tim, the Quick and the Sita Quasi Jati Tokta, Hyper, the Unity, Puruk Pamadi, Sano Kono, Yam Pabo, Club MCO, Mabu, Pung Togot Boyna, Quahari Tanam, Sinjabanetuga, Manipu and Purungulam, the Queen Diana, Quasi Masanga, Quasi Sierra Manedu, Sisters of Kramatin, Pamboyna, Quahariba, Locan Club Singh, Sidi, Papa Platon, Mogimuta, Panam, the Quay Arab, the Yuda, Kopulakanda, Hanboy Sinjabana. Manipur Rifles Association in a press release informed that the second winter air weapon shooting competition 2018 will be held from April 29 to May 1st at Kuman Lampak shooting ranges. The release further informed interested participants to submit their credentials to the manager of the tournament by April 22nd.
Before we end the bulletin, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Chief Minister Birin launches six-month free remedial coaching scheme for Dasaji students under Chief Minister Lydic Gingminashi program. Deputy Chief Minister Yumnam Jaikumar calls on the need to start protecting endangered fishes of Manipur. Managing Director of MSPCL says entire Manipur will have electricity by de December this year, ahead of central government said aim for 2019. And Kairao Kendra Chingmitami Integrity Football Tournament kicks off. Minister Shyam Kumar asserts sports and arts and culture plays an important role in bringing a united Manipur. <laughs>